The charred and mangled remains of a Ford F-150 pickup truck that came to rest on the shoulder of the Placencia Road after careening across the lonely stretch conceals the badly burnt bodies of several persons. Sometime before 6 o'clock this morning, the vehicle, presumably driven at high speed, was traveling along the highway when it crashed into a lamppost. The violent collision sent the pickup bowling onto the other side of the road before bursting into flames. Trapped inside the wreckage were four occupants, including the driver of the vehicle. Um, police responded to the report on arriving and saw a F-150 pickup in Gulf in, 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 in flame. Um, after the fire has been extinguished or burned out, uh, we observed that we have bodies inside and um, we tracked down the vehicle to a person in Placencia, owned by a person in Placencia. I don't have the identity of the person inside of the vehicle at this present moment. The extensively damaged vehicle remains under the careful watch of a team of officers dispatched to the location of the accident to safeguard the integrity of the scene. Senior Superintendent Ralph Moody surmises the cause of the tragic mishap. Well, what happened is that it appeared that the driver lost control and ran into a lamppost and caused damage to the lamppost and as well caused damage to a high tension wire just behind, behind us. And um, that is what we are seeing at this present moment. The issue of road traffic safety on this stretch, uh, has there been any move by police within this jurisdiction to either uh, patrol the Placencia Road? Well, not only the passenger road, but we are doing on the on the Hummingbird Highway and the Southern Highway as well. But um, due to the fact that our resources is not something that we can do on a day-to-day -day or to our basis, no. But we do um, make an effort to patrol the highway on the, this passenger road. While News Five has learned that four persons lost their lives in the accident, the regional Southern commander wouldn't confirm those details. Now, I understand that you're waiting for the forensic pathologist to come and do an investigation onto the scene of the crime as well. Uh, at this point, can you determine the number of bodies that are inside the vehicle? I don't want to mislead anyone and, um, so that we are waiting for the pathologist to assist us in determining the amount of personal person, or person inside of the vehicle at this present moment. Reporting for News 5, I am Isani Kayatano.